Okay, hello. So, today what we did in the last episode, I'm just gonna summarize it real quick, is we basically just made the clouds and we made them move quickly across the screen and ha make them a random number. That's basically all we did, we didn't do anything else. Um, we just did that because the episode 4 was getting a little bit too long for my computer to handle. Because if I tried to upload it onto YouTube, it'll probably take a really long time. So instead, I separated it. But anyways, let's just get going on this episode. So essentially what we're doing today is we're doing Alan AI. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to open up your search engine. I like using Chrome. And then we're going to do, type in Alan AI. It's going to be the first one, titled Alan.app. And then, we're going to see that we get to this website. So essentially what you're going to do, is you're going to sign in. I'm going to sign in with my Google account, because I have it saved. And then you can see here, that I have the flagship project open. So what I'm going to do, is that I'm just going to create a new voice assistant. Create an empty project, title it um, tutorial. Create it. And then you can see here that this is called an intent. This is what you get first. So if you, what intent basically is, is the first word is going to register what you say. So if I say hello word, world, then the voice assistant is going to play back hello hi, or hi there, depending on which one. So, for example, if I open up the voice assistant down here, I say, hello world. Hello. And then it responds saying, hello. Um, so that's basically an intent. So, the cool thing about Alan AI is that you're able to use functions when you say something. So, this is my actual flagship project that I use. And the cool thing about it is that you're able to use commands. So, for example, if I say jump, then it's going to play the command start jump. If I play the command start, then it's going to say the start the command start game. So, in order to do this, first and foremost, we have to open up, uh, or we have to make functions that they can use, basically. Okay, um, I was just saying something up real quick for Alan AI. So now, what we're going to basically do is we're going to create a new function titled jump. So, create a new function titled jump. And also, we're going to have to debug some stuff as well for our jump code but it should end up working pretty well. So we're going to go into here, and when, we're basically just gonna call jumping is equal to true. Or we can actually copy all of this code over, and then where is jumping? Where's jumping? I lost the command. Oh, it's right there, okay. I'm blind. We just do jumping is equal to true. So essentially what we're going to do is we say if grounded is equal to true, then we want to say jumping is equal to true. Actually, Instead of the, what did I just do? I accidentally got something wrong. Okay. I think that will do for our jumping code right now, and then we can edit it later. And then essentially what we're going to do, once we're done with that, we can just remove this here, and then we can call jump. And then, now in order to do this, what we're going to do 
is we also... Actually, we did already create the other function, so we're all set to go now that we create the jump function. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to go into, where is it? Integrations. It, so if you see up here, it says integrations right there. So you're going to click onto that button. Then, it'll, it's going to, we can view the documentation on how to add it. Actually, sorry, wrong place. Um, let me just, if you see down here, we can see all of this code right here. So essentially what we want to do is we're going to, actually, let's do this. I'm actually doing this in my flagship project, but we want to do it in tutorial instead. So let me just re-sign in again. Um, tutorial. So essentially what we want to do is we want the intent to be jump. And then, after we do that, we're going to create a new intent also, titled start. And then we're going to set that p is equal to whatever command you want to do. And now, if we go back to the flagship project, we can see that in order to play a command, you have to do p.play and then the command. So I'm just going to copy over this code. And then I'm just going to rewrite the other command as well. So we can do command start game. And these commands can be whatever name you want. They could, I'm just pretty sure, they could even be the same name as jump. Um, so right now I'm just going to save the changes. And then now we're going to do the integrations. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to copy over the Allen button first. Go to the tutorial. And then underneath body, right underneath our images, we're going to add in the Allen button. And then if you see here, we have an Allen button right here. So we're going to copy that over. So basically everyone has different keys that they can use. And I'm probably going to blur out my key because anyone, multiple people, because I don't want multiple people to use this. But, um, yeah. But, so basically you're going to copy over your, um, whatchamacallit, your, the code from here. And then you're just going to simply paste it, um. Where is my script type? Right here. We're going to paste it. And then essentially what we want to do is... What did I just click? So, it's going to add a link there. And then, you see this big chunk of code here? You're going to control exit out. And then you're going to find it, where you want to put it inside of our other script tab. And then you're just going to paste it. So right now, uh, I want it to be, oopsie daisy, I don't know what I'm clicking right now. So essentially what we want to do is we're going to paste it basically anywhere, but I'm just going to paste it underneath the key handler. And then essentially what we're going to do is we're going to link it up. So you see in here inside the tutorial, I'm just going to close out everything else. You can see here that, oh my god, it says start jump and start game. So we're going to use those exact same functions and we're going to do start game. And then when you do start game, we're going to set so that we're going to check to see if, actually we can just copy this code over. We can do copy and paste it, but except we're going to remove the key code handler. And then that's pretty good right now. Um, don't misspell. I actually misspelled it. 
And then now, what we're when we're done with this, we can create a new and improve command as well. So we can do command data dot command deep equals to um start jump. That's what we named the other function. And the order honestly doesn't really matter between the functions. Doesn't matter if you do start jump before start game. All that matters is that these names uh, are the same as these. And then essentially what we're going to do after that is we're going to create a new... We're just going to call jump. Um, you don't have to do jump. We honestly didn't have to create a new file. We could have just, um, we could have just set, uh, jumping is equal to true for inside of here, but I didn't want to do that. And then now that we're done with that, we can do control slash to comment out that code. Um, I like commenting that part out because I'm not sure if it's going to work entirely. Um, so we can do that. And then now, free. Reload the page, and we can see that this is here. That this, uh, Alan Eric button is right there. So you're going to press it, allow, start, jump. Oh, buddy. Okay. <laughs> um, so that worked <laughs> kind of uh so the first thing we probably have to do is go into allen ai and then we have to go into save a new version essentially what we have to do is we have to development what I, I want to do right now is to shorten it down the time, because if you say something, there's a long delay. So, are there settings? Here, I'm going to full screen this. Where are the settings? Oh, right here. I'm not really sure how to... Development... Uh, analytics? No. I'm looking for settings. <laughs> Are there no settings? Syntax. We can see that on the AI did indeed work. It's just that I want to shorten down the thingy. Shorten down the time in between on AI settings. Am I blind? I swear I don't see any settings. Development, save with new version. Hmm, I'm really struggling right now. I have no clue where the where the settings are. Wait, does it? Just...
Am I actually blind? I'm actually blind. I don't know where the settings are. There they are. I am blind. Okay. <laughs> okay, I finally found it. Um... So essentially, what we want to do is probably decrease the microphone timeout. And then we add in our tutorial. We refresh it. Start. Mm. Hey, on. The wake word isn't working. I didn't enable it. Uh, I don't know how this works. I'm just gonna re reset it to ten because that doesn't seem like it worked. Um, but anyways, so basically, overall, LNA is a put pretty good program for you to use. Um, I just need to change up the code a little bit. Uh, because whenever you jump, it jumps extremely, extremely high. And we don't want that. So essentially, how we're going to fix this is we're going to have to do something else. So, we're going to, underneath character, that's where it is. We're going to increase the Y velocity to around 20. And then underneath jump, we're going to do character dot Y plus equals to 1. Or, sorry, sorry, sorry. We're going to do character dot Y velocity is equal. Um. What's our jump code? I'm kind of confused. So that's gravity. So if jumping is equal to true, then it's going to add the y velocity. So essentially how we're going to get across that is we're going to take that out of the jumping code. And then we're going to check it at all times. Then we're going to change it so that the y velocity is equal to negative 20. And then for, we can remove this jump function as well. And then underneath the start, we want the y velocity to be equal to 0. And then underneath the reset, we don't, um, underneath reset, re, no, reset is completely fine right now. So we can actually remove the key down handler. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to go into character, and then we're going to set so that jumping is equal to false. However, when we do this, we do jumping is equal to true. And then in the if statement, Actually, this should work. This should work because we're always applying gravity to it, so it should work. Start. Jump. Hmm. hmm. Bang, let's check for jumping.
And then we want to go inside of here. Then we want to set it so that character dot jump thing is equal to false. And then what we want to do is we say if character dot x if sorry if character dot y is greater than or equal to mm, no, if character dot jumping is equal to true, then we want to add gravity to it. So then we're going to set it so that character character dot y velocity is equal to a positive number. Start. Go to an error. The audio context was allowed. It must be resumed. I am unable to answer this right now. Um, okay, Alan. Oh, what happened? Oh! Oh, okay, I see what I did wrong. I accidentally didn't remove the key up and key down. My bad, okay. I refresh the page. Start! No, not this again. Oh, god. Character. 229-272. I spelled some stuff. 229. Character. Character. And then also at loop 272. I'm sorry. Start! Not that- What? How many errors? Yeah. Cracker. I, st I spelled it the wrong the second time as well. <laughs> oh, that's really disappointing. Character. Character. Uh, spelling errors are my downfall. Start. Start. Jump. Why is it not jumping? I don't know what's wrong with this. Here, let's do something real quick. This jump code is my downfall. Okay. Character that jumping is equal to false. So let's just change all of those values. Logically, it should work because it's going to jump negative 20, negative 20, and then it's going to jump back 21. But I guess we don't have to do that. Okay. 
character dot y velocity is equal to negative ten. Okay. I think I screwed up on something. Okay, I'm going to try out a new jumping code, so let's delete all that, and then let's also get, the velocity. Okay, so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to start off by creating a new character on this sort of y velocity. And then we're going to add 0 0.1 to it, meaning that that's basically going to be the gravity. It's going to continue to press down on it. And then from there, we're going to add the velocity to the character dot y so that the gravity actually has an effect and then from there we do character dot y velocity times equals to 0 0.9 so essentially what that's going to do is that's going to keep on multiplying the y value so that as it if it jumps up then it's going to slowly start to go down more quicker and quicker so, yeah. And then essentially, how we're going to f fix that is underneath the start jump function, we're going to... We're going to call something. But, first things first, we also have to check to see if it is touching the ground. Then, that means... That we want to not add anything to the uh, y velocity. So we're going to set the y velocity to zero if it's touching the ground. And then from there, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, in the Allen AI code, we're going to set so that character dot y velocity minus equals to 25 meaning that's going to jump up 25 uh so that should logically make sense hopefully start jump so you can see that it did real it did jump and it did come back down um so we can just decrease this to like 10 maybe, and then we also have to lower down the enemy speed. So we're just going to make this negative 1 instead. Start. Jump. Jumped a little bit too late. Okay. It also isn't jumping high enough. So essentially what we're going to do instead. We're going to make it jump up 20. Start. Jump. And it jumped. But it's pretty good. Start. Jump, and it jumped over, but I jumped a little bit too early. So, that is basically it for this Allen AI tutorial. I know this last episode was kind of hectic, 
because I wasn't able to get my jump codes working. But eventually, I did get it to work by adding friction, um, changing the Y velocity. So, if this was a little bit confusing, I'm just going to basically summarize what I did. So, in the start, I asked, I did character dot jumping, and I said to true. And then I also tried to make it so that when it was in the air, you add value. But however, it kept on adding. So what we had to do was we removed the jumping code completely. And then instead what we did is that we added friction and we made it so that when it goes up, it will gradually come down slower and slower. I mean, faster and faster, sorry. Um, so that is basically it. I'm probably going to make a six episode, um, basically just showing Alan AI maybe again I'm not exactly sure but thank you for listening for this whole entire series I know this episode was kind of long due to all the errors but thank you